What's the crack, lads? We're back with the Inter Milan pack today. So you get three of these players for free. We're going to show you how to get the two free players from the events. And also you do get a free login bonus as well. Best build. Going to be showing you the best gameplay and our top pick. <coughs> Barella. He's a beast. Let's get straight into it. Training guides at the end of the video. Let me know if you spun. You're effectively getting five players for 200 coins. Let's go. So lads, this pack that you see here, there's five players in total. You get one free spin as a special login bonus just for logging into the game. If you want to get two free spins on top of that, you need to go to the AI events and play this teamed event, which will get you two free spins at this agent. And that means you will have three players for 100% free. You can also buy them with coins if you don't want to wait around or you have the coins to spin. I personally feel like, you know, Shalhan Aglu is definitely not a player that I would train up and waste XP on. You can see his stats here. They're just average. Speed and acceleration. You need to have that little pop in you now if you want to have a good orchestrator CMF. He doesn't really have it. But as a free player, if you get him, it's not the worst in the world. I just feel like that there's better orchestrators out there for the GP market. We're going to show you a couple of the players here as well, just their actual builds at the end of the video. So bear with us for that. Lautaro Martinez, again, another standard card. Good skills, good stats. It's not the worst card in the world. But again, there's so many different players that you can get now to play CF. The same with left back DeMarco. It's going to be an interesting one for DeMarco there as well. If you are looking to get him as a fullback finisher, you can play CB, left mid, left back. It's an interesting card for free, but his stats and his skills don't really align up where they need to be. These are very base entry cards. They're just freebies. So you're not going to be, you know, changing the world with these cards. They're not going to be unreal. Pavard would have been a good card, but it's one of the weaker Pavard cards because he's got 20 levels. I know he's been notoriously low leveled in the game. This is because he is kind of broken in the game in terms of his AI and his build and his speed. He's a very kind of one of the earlier meta players before Araujo came that had like 80 plus speed and 90 and nearly all defensive stats. But the pick of him is Barella. Definitely, boys, if you do get Barella as a box-to-box, -box, you can train him as a, de a defensive-minded CMF or an offensive-minded CMF. And he has everything that you could possibly want. Low center of gravity, really good balance. You're going to see clips here. A little bit messy, obviously, we turned the ball over, but Cruyff to Barella. Left foot, right foot, doesn't matter with the finishes. We also have this little cheeky finish here with the right foot as well. So it just depends on if you have a better attacking midfielder. That's where I would play him. We'll show you in a second where I'm playing him and how he compares with his GP. I'm going to let the Bills pretty much speak for themselves on eFootballDB. You've got Pavard here. We're just going to maximize his defense and get that speed over 80. We're going to have his jump and kicking power and stamina all pretty high as well with the heading as well. I think that if you're getting these players, guys, just train them as is. You know, don't spend too much time or don't bother, you know, training them up for end game level. They're pretty decent free rewards. That's what they are. If you want to grind against the AI and get a couple of players, you can get three players for free and take your chance that you will have a really high chance of getting Barella, who I definitely think is worth spinning for if you've never played with Barella before. As I said, I'll show you the GP comparison in a second of where I'm playing him in my squad um, towards the end of the video. DeMarco, I reckon they're going to make a change. This is a prediction for me. I reckon they're going to make a big change to Lofted Pass soon in terms of how the flight of the ball will be. Maybe it will be in the next update. Maybe it will be in eFootball 2025. These cars will carry over. We have two builds of Barella. The first build that you're seeing on screen right now is a defensive-minded build. This is going to be maximizing his defense. This build that you're seeing right here now as it switches up is going to be a center midfielder pushing into an attacking midfielder slight role that's going to be attack-based. So you're going to have higher speed and acceleration, dribbling type position and passing. So it depends on what build that you want to have for him. And of course, rounding it off with Lataro Martinez as well. Now, I'm going to show you where I play Barella and where he's been beasting for me on the live stream. We did a full stream on Thursday. We played loads of clips with him. This is where I'm playing him. So he's kind of an attacking midfielder, kind of a Roman attacking midfielder while being down as a CMF. So we're playing him in that nice position between your DMFs and your attackers, your center forward, and he's able to link everything. He's got one of the best, most direct run styles in the game. Always in the right area, busting into the box. And I definitely think he is a beast. If you have Valverde, I don't think you need Barella or vice versa. But I definitely think that Barella is a monster. I love playing with him. you got some good clips. That's how he compares to his GP card that you're seeing on screen as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, boys. I will be back. We'll have some more videos up over the weekend. Until next time, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Smash that like button if you're a beast. And I'll talk to you in a bit.